you interested in DIYing your own escape room for your group or fundraiser? The biggest part of making your own escape room is coming up with the puzzles. You want clever and unique puzzles, but it can be overwhelming to come up with a variety and make them on your own. Well, today I'm going to show you two simple puzzles you can make to get your DIY escape room going. Hello, my name is Celeste and I'm the owner operator of Escape Room, Escape from Reality by Golden Key Games. And today is day one of our 31 days of puzzles for your DIY game. The simplest puzzle of all is the jigsaw puzzle. I sometimes use these in the temporary rooms because they are an easy win and everyone knows how to use a jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle can have anything on it. So if you wanted to do something super simple and just put the code to the lock right on the jigsaw puzzle, you could do that. You know your audience best. But if you wanted to put information for another puzzle or something they have to figure out, you could do that as well. One puzzle I've done in the past, I call the pie pie puzzle. It is the pie symbol on an actual pie, like a pumpkin pie. Um, it is cut into triangles, just like a pie would be. So it's not your typical jigsaw puzzle with, the, with all the little pieces and the cutouts, but it is cut into eight pieces. And, and so the first thing they find when they start the escape room is these pieces and they have to put them together and they see the pie symbol. From there, they got the 314 and they opened up a lock with that 314. You could separate the pieces so that they don't, they can't do them all at once, that they get them um, and put them around the room or you can put them all together. It's your choice. The second puzzle I did for a um, Halloween room and I wanted a quick win for, uh, because I have a lot of kids that come into my room and I wanted a quick win that they could put something together. This one took less than a minute to put together. It is the Can I Be Frank with You puzzle, and it has uh, Frankenstein's monster on it. it. has the word Frank in green, and um, they quickly find out after they put the puzzle together that Frank is probably a code to something else in the room. So there you have it. Two jigsaw type puzzles that you could use to either give a code or give a message or give um, information for the next puzzle. Subscribe to our channel for more 31 Days of Puzzles and help you build your own DIY escape room.